morning guys welcome today Christmas is canceled for today Christmas is canceled Christmas is canceled and the horses are staying in because it is a blistery blizzard out still check out the little ponies here oh cold eh I'll close the door as much as I could I might have to keep it closed because it's really windy and cold out it was minus 20 do you believe that minus 20 celsius that's freezing so i fed them last night and there's the carnage this is why i don't like to feed them in here because they poop in here and so now i have to clean it all up feed them in here again so we're gonna leave the horse in the stall we're gonna leave chino in a stall and honey in a stall and clean up the stalls and my hair is a mess i see that but we're gonna because i just woke up <laughs> As you can see, the snow is piling up outside the door, and that's because the wind is blowing it in this direction. The wind blows in this direction and um, plugs up this door. Another reason why to do the other side, but the wind is really weird. It's coming straight down this way. <laughs> carrot is frozen in the barn. Gonna be able to eat this carrot, Chino? I know. Oh, broke off pretty good. There you go. That's your Christmas carrot. The arena's clean, except for maybe some small poop over there that's frozen to the ground because it's really cold last night. And they're fed. Well, we'll be back at lunchtime. Turned out to be a terrible Christmas. Terrible Christmas. Terrible Christmas. Your friend wished for a white Christmas. I don't want a blizzard. Chino wants to go out, but he don't want to go out once. Once Chino goes out, he'd be looking to come back in. <laughs> I know you do, okay. You know, don't leave it. No, nope, leave the door. Leave the door, I'm wrestling with Chino for the door here. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve on the Day by Day Farm. Unfortunately for us, Christmas is canceled. We have a canceled Christmas. Actually, we haven't. Mother Nature canceled Christmas. Every Christmas Eve, we celebrate with my family. Uh, my kids come and my grandkids come and we have an amazing Christmas celebration. We have presents and we have food and we have games and we just make it like the best celebration ever. And today, my kids, where they live, they're getting this big, huge storm that we had yesterday. And so they all messaged me and were like, we can't come. And my grandkids are disappointed and we are disappointed, but Christmas is still gonna happen, you guys. It's not canceled, it's just rescheduled. We rescheduled and they are gonna come in a couple of days, so we are still gonna have holidays with them. It just sucks, it just sucks, you guys. Look at all the snow that we got. Look at the windows. We got so much snow. It's insane. The girls are actually playing video games with their friends online, so I'm glad they get to do that. What game are you guys playing? Fall Guys. Fall Guys. Oh, it looks so I'm different on a computer. Man. Watch, watch. You're a gingerbread man? Mom, watch. Hold on. Hold. Stop pushing me! Be and be. bouncing on a ball. All right. That's... It's a trampoline. Trampoline. Yeah, there's Gabby. I'm on the trampoline. <laughs> oh my god. Almost died. Anyway, so they talk with their friends online and they play oh, with their friends online. But we are still gonna make this holiday super fun. We, Like I said, we rescheduled it with my grandkids. We have a lot more celebrating to do this holiday season. It's just one day. It's just one day that got canceled. Oh, flip my and head. we're gonna work through it. We're Guys, gonna work with it and we're gonna we're still first. make we this the best holiday. I died. You died? Are you excited to have your very first Christmas Eve without a party? We always have a party on Christmas it's not Eve. It's a party. It's a... Can we, can we not? 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 Yeah, I'm dead. That is how it goes when the girls are playing video games it's with just friends. It's get pretty noisy when our girls are playing video games with friends because they're all talking together at the same time and they get crazy. They get crazy and loud. Are you sad? Are you sad? No, it would be relaxing. <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll be a relaxing, be relaxing Christmas movie. Eve. It's sad for me, though. It's Just so sad. Just figure out what else to do. Yeah, I, like we don't even know what, how to do Christmas Eve without our family, huh? Yeah. It is definitely really sad. We could do a live. You want to go live, live on Christmas Eve? All right, let's do it. I think that would be so fun. Sam and Gabby went into town. Sam had to pick up a prescription at, the, at Walmart, and... 
He took Gabby with him and we didn't know because it's not snowing where we live. We didn't know that everywhere just past where we live is under this huge winter storm. Like it's a huge winter storm. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. my son called me and said, like, don't you let them go? My son apparently is trapped at his in-laws for the night because the weather is so bad. They've shut down all the streets. They've closed every store except for Walmart. They've closed every store except for Walmart. Uh, so Sam got to close to Walmart and the cop said like it's closed We've closed down the street and they let them go through because he needed this medication So they let him through so they're at Walmart just picking up stuff that we didn't even need And It's a disaster you guys Christmas is a disaster this year. It's like insanity But as you guys can see <laughs> Daisy dog is comfortable living life laying on the couch the dogs are excited they just want to do something and Sophie and I have to go down and feed lunch we've been giving the horses like a lot more extra hay to keep them warm and so it's time to go down are you ready to go down no we have to do it Sophie so I learned this trick on TikTok of course where does everybody learn stuff I'm gonna show you guys take your scarf and wait I think you go like this and then you go like this and then you bring each of these through. I did this the other day and I loved it. And then you just pull the back up and it's a hat. I mean, it's a hat, wait. And it's a hat, you guys. It's kind of like a cowl. You guys see it? What's a cowl? It's this kind of a hat. I love it. I think it's so cool. It'll keep us, keep the wind off us. Do you want to wear this? Get your shoes, sister, and dress warm. making sure the cat has enough food too. I'm gonna actually fill his bowl up. He's eating a lot. I filled this all the way up yesterday. Frozen you carrots. Let me in first. <laughs> How'd you get in? I broke the door. <laughs> oh no. Your dad's gonna freak out. I just I just kept pushing the door until the latch thing came. I wanna make a scarf now because look at how nice that is. Doesn't it's, it look so really cool? Yeah, but it looks cool. All right, that let's. That was mean. I know, let's throw hay. Oh my gosh. The snow is still coming in. Sorry. Holy heck. This is awful. I think this is the first time that's ever happened. Hi, Tino. <laughs> You're better in than out. Trust me, it's all ice. You left honey in her stall? All right, let's do this. Oh, they look peaceful. Hi, Will. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to take the pitchfork out there and clean it. Hi! Dad already cleaned it. Dad already cleaned it? Yeah, they're just pooping in here a lot because they're locked in and it's warm, you guys. Apparently, it is. It's so much. It's warmer in here. It's so nice. I don't know, I don't think this thing is working. It says it's. It says it's 30 degrees, but that's in the barn. It's really cold outside. It's, it's right there. All right. So, so is that no? All right. So nobody left us any open hay. Yeah, we give them extra hay. We're feeding them around the clock right now to keep them warm. That's the only reason they're all doing so well. I'll never get it off the ground.
even though this is like one of the worst storms we've ever had, living at this farm and having horses, I, I actually love like the togetherness it brings. Like Sam and Gabby braved this weather to go in and get a few things for us to make our Christmas Eve special. Yeah, I'll be right there. Because it's gonna be the first time we've ever been alone, just our family on Christmas Eve. I found some frozen poo, I wanted to get it because if we can stay on top of the poop every time we come down, it won't freeze in here. I don't want them standing like in frozen poop in our arena. So, anyways, like I was saying, like when it's so cold and awful and everybody has to band together to make He's things coming, work. He's coming, he's coming, oh, through. oh. <laughs> Hello, little baby. She didn't come out. Oh my gosh, she's getting cuter. He is so cute. Like, is it just me? Like, I'm gonna get another <laughs> miniature horse full one day. I'm not joking. She needs to get out and run. Nope. <laughs> she did that last time. She's like, nope. So we often take her out so that she can run. Okay. I'm really cold. I'm like. Not your eat the hay time. Molly, Ruby, come. come on. Stay. Come on. Stay. Come on, all hay. Come on. <laughs> She's just peeking around the corner. Come on, little baby. <laughs> she was bucking her stall this morning. Was she warm? Yeah. We stay down here until dad gets home. Sophie wants to stay down here until Sam and, and dad get home. But there is no way, I'm already frozen. My fingers are frozen. Can you close this door up for me? Like, closing up all the doors, like that one, helps to keep parts of the it's barn cold. Yeah. I'm just trying to like, sweep up some stuff. I really wanna sweep all that snow out of here. If I fall, you're coming down with me. Oh, no, 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 no! No! Oh no! Oh my God, you guys, you'll never believe what happened. Yesterday, a bird. He's so cute. <laughs> Let's take it over there and see it. No, get down. Snow is coming in everywhere. Oh my gosh. This is a sign we need to keep a bird. No, there are signs about birds, you guys. This is the second bird in two He's days so that cute. entered one in our barn and one Look in our house. Look at gold on it. It's stunning. Oh my gosh, I love It looks birds. like it's got pink, fluorescent pink. Turn it to the side a bit. No, the other side. Look, it has spots. Yeah, it's really cute. Okay, so what are we gonna Where do with it? Where can we buy a bird? We're not ever getting another bird. You guys made try. me get rid of my bird. We're not ever getting another bird. Yeah, like, even the birds are trying to get in out of the snow. We didn't tell you guys this, but yeah. yesterday, uh, we, Sam let the dogs out in the morning and all they do is say, he opens the front door and they all run out to go to the bathroom. And Daisy jumped off the front porch. You guys know she has problems with jumping off of things. She jumped off the front porch, landed, opened her mouth and leaped into the air and caught a bird. She just landed, leaped, opened her mouth and caught a bird. And that's one thing Daisy does. She try, has always been a bird catcher. And that's one of the reasons why her being deaf is really hard. We can't call her when she's distracted and she gets distracted by chasing birds and trying to catch them. So anyways, this yesterday she caught this bird and then it was stunned and it was like a blizzard out. So Sophie brought it in just until it got unstunned. So we brought it in. I had it all curled up in my shirt so I could like warm up a little bit and get unstunned. And then just as we were about to let it go, flew away into my house. So we had this little bird. I'll try and insert a picture here if I remember of this little bird. And this is the second bird. So this one cool. is so gorgeous. And it has spots and spots are the best. Don't poop. Yeah, don't poop. All right, so we're gonna let it go. Let's let's. Hey, what my plan was: put a blanket in a bucket, 
and then put it out facing that way. No, no, no. So yesterday, all I did, is, Sophie was at the store when I let that one go yesterday. We, I caught it in the house, and I let it go, and she was at the store. And it was the most beautiful sight, so let's see if we can see it again. The dogs have to stay in. Go lock the dogs in the, in the barn. They don't chase birds. If you tell them, then no, then they won't. Okay, all right. It's Daisy, because you can't yeah, tell her now. Yeah, okay. Stay. 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 Okay. I just let it go? Yeah, just throw it out there, close to the camera, so I can Do I see. throw it or no? Just let it go. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> oh, it was drifting. It was drifting. It was drifting. That's how windy and awful it is. Anyway, we're headed up. We should go up now because it's not that windy. Yeah, well, it's going to be windy the minute we step past this bar and this bar. Once you pass the bar. Okay, but like the wind is not really here right now. Yeah, because we have to wait. walk into it. Okay. A harder part is going by. Let's go. Let's go. I looked this up yesterday just because I really am into this kind of spiritual meaning of things, but I looked it up again just now so I could tell you guys what a bird means if a bird flies into your house or if you get a, end up with a bird inside your house. So a crow or a blackbird usually signifies illness or death. So thankfully none of the birds that flew in here were a blackbird, but uh, they also mean good luck and fertility. So hopefully that's not a thing. So if it's like a light colored bird or a white colored bird, it usually means like fortune, good fortune and good luck for the year. Well, we need that color. Yeah. Because we've been having bad luck, especially with cars. Also, a light colored bird means that like a bad time that you've been going through will end, which in the grand scheme of things, what we've been going through lately hasn't been like so super bad. Just like all of our cars breaking, hitting a deer, um, Christmas being canceled, just like all that kind of stuff. That I'm not upset. But it's not like the worst kind of thing, but uh, if a bird coming into my house means that all that bad luck is going to end, I'm good with that. But yeah, birds bring good luck and fortune and fertility into your family. So maybe there will be a new baby born into our home in the next year. That could possibly happen. Anyway, that's exciting. I just wanted to tell you guys what finding a bird, and we found two. So there maybe will be two babies born into our house in the next year. Up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the. Don't you know that you're beautiful?